Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I want to talk with you about a subject that I brought up at uh, one of the recent cichlids and coffee live streams where I talked about uh, some aggression that was being demonstrated by the Malawi trout. That situation has changed and I want to go over it with you and I also have a survey for you, a question, and I really want to get your take on it. I'll ask it at the end of today's uh, video and I'm going to be really interested in what you have to say. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about, is the war over? If you're new to this channel and haven't already done so, and you like to always be learning about uh, taking care of fish like I do, uh, why not hit that bell and hit that sub button and uh, that way I'll know that you're getting something out of this video and uh, it, it uh, tells me that you're getting some value out of the content and that way you'll also get notifications when uh, I upload new, new, uh, new content and when I go live like on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific with the cichlids and coffee live stream. So um, in, that, in that cichlids and coffee live stream I believe it was called Face Off I talked about how the, the trout had gone from being this relatively peaceful fish to starting to go after, uh, after all the other tank mates uh, to the point where he was actually, uh, where he was actually corralling them and, and like he was being pretty rough with all the fish. I, there was only a couple really that he didn't mess with, uh, the fire hap, the uh, the Venusus, but the two adversaries like if I had to if I had to list the fish in a pecking order in a or in a in a command line of who's in charge you'd have the Venusus, then the eye biter then the Fusco and and then the uh, and then the Malawi trout well the Malawi trout gave the Fusco a bit of a beating you can see it here and uh, pretty much had him corralled in in the uh, you know, in the corner of the tank, along with the other fish, including the Bucachromus, which is a little bit unusual because usually they don't mess with fish that don't look like them. Even the eye biter is a very different fish, a different looking, different shape, uh, but yet he had him corralled also in the corner. So he's, uh, he's gotten over on those fish. He's expressed his superiority and that he can, uh, that he can take them, that he can beat them. And uh, now, if, if uh, looking at a more recent video, now he's just as quickly as it started without anything that I think could have prompted it. There wasn't a water change. There wasn't anything different that I'm doing. It stopped. He's no longer being aggressive. Uh, now he's just hanging around. You see him here. He's like, you know, Mr. Mr. Congeniality and just hanging out and uh, not really getting into it with anybody. And so what I want to find out from you what do you think what do you think would bring about that kind of behavior why would a fish go why would a fish go from from being like a, a total jerk and beating everybody up to um, to just hanging out again like nothing some of you suggested the whole thing was because of the time of year the seasons uh, maybe something prompted like a water change uh, atmospheric pressure, the position of the moon. Uh, I heard a lot of theories from folks that made comments. Uh, what do you think? Why do you think it flared up? And why do you think it totally stopped? He's not in charge yet. He hasn't challenged the Venusis. And I think that that's a wise move. He hasn't, he hasn't tried to challenge the Venusis. The Venusis is still the, uh, the sort of benevolent king here in the tank, which, which I like because he doesn't mess with anybody He's just in charge and everybody knows it. At some point, maybe he will challenge the Venusis. I don't know. That, that could be a very interesting situation. But uh, it has stopped. He's back to just hanging out. And I'd like to know from you what you think is behind that. Also, I have a survey for you. I just want to get your take on this. You probably know that I'm going to be moving from Los Angeles to Tennessee. Do you think, do you think I should... I should take everything I have, all my filters, my tanks, my substrate, my fish. Do you think I should transport everything and and just start start it all up again in Tennessee, or do you think that I should 
start over, that I should go ahead and do a massive sell-off here on the West Coast and do a from scratch, uh, you know, which, which adventure would, would you like to uh, come along with me on moving everything and setting it up again a thousand miles away? Or would you like to see me start up tanks from scratch, uh, you know, cycle them, introduce new fish, perhaps different species, different types of fish? What, what would you like to see? Comment below. I'd like to hear what you have to say. I will read them and take them to heart. And maybe we'll discuss them on, uh, on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Uh, you can see the fish here behind me. The, uh, the, we'll go on this angle here. Here's the trout. He's just sort of hanging out right there. You can see him. Unfortunately, the Fusco is still hanging out here in the corner. Still licking his wounds a little bit. And, uh, but everybody else is doing okay. I mean, you can even see the, the electric uh, blue hanging out, which is very rare, very rare for him to come out. So um, anyway, it's a very interesting state of affairs there. And as sickle keepers, you know, you keep your fingers crossed and it's a roll of the dice. So uh, one, quick, uh, uh, one quick plug. Some of you have asked, hey, um, how, can I, uh, how can I help support the channel? Well, uh, one good way is you can use my Amazon affiliate link. I now have an Amazon affiliate store. If you use one of the links to get to, to Amazon, and even if you don't buy a fish product, you buy something else, Amazon will give the channel a little bit of money. Teeny, it's a small, small percentage, but uh, it helps. And so if you want to help the channel, you can do that. You can also super chat during the uh, Cichlids and Coffee live streams on Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, usually, and uh, is when I do them. Also, uh, follow on Instagram at ben.o.cichlid uh, if you want some behind-the-scenes photos and videos. And uh, also on Facebook, I have a group, ben, uh, ben O. Apostrophe Cichlid. Great group, very helpful group, uh, beginners, advanced, all are welcome. All fish keepers are welcome. Doesn't have to be cichlids, and um, you'll you'll find yourself among over seven thousand now uh, fish keepers. Also, you can go to Teespring and pick up uh, pick up tank tops and hoodies and coffee mugs and stuff like that. That also helps the channel. Okay, so that's the commercial and the plug. I thank you very much for uh, for watching this. I look forward to reading your comments on both the trout and the move to Tennessee. All right. And I hope to see you on Saturday at Cichlids and Coffee, 10 a.m. Pacific. All right? Thank you so much. You are appreciated.